Well, has it finally come to an end for Pope Francis? Will his nine-year-plus reign as Pope be coming to an end? Well, announcements recently made now fueling speculation that he will be stepping down. We'll get into all those details and much more in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if you could, if YT even lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Also, please share the video, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So what is going on here? Well, for those that don't know, Pope Francis has been confined to a wheelchair for the past month. His health conditions continuing to get worse. Uh, he's had notable trouble getting around and walking for the better part of a year now, really even back longer than that, but it's gotten even worse now. You know, we had to cancel several uh, planned appearances right around Christmas time, 2021, and things have just not gotten any better for him. Now he's having so much difficulty that he's been confined to a wheelchair. So all these rumors have been swirling around about his potential replacement. Would he be going away? Look, I've said this before. This guy could be the false prophet talked about in the book of Revelation. And let me just say this as well. I mean, if he's not serving as Pope, doesn't mean he still couldn't be the false prophet. But that would mean things need to start accelerating very quickly here as it comes to uh, the rest of end time Bible prophecy headlines. But let's get to what he just recently said in an announcement. He will be making an appearance in the town of El Aquila, okay, the central town in Italy, for a big feast that will take place right around August 28th. Now, uh, significant about this because he'll actually be meeting at the time with cardinals. This is actually where Pope Celestine V had met with others as well, which, by the way, Pope Celestine V was also another pope who had retired. Now, that was prior to Pope Benedict, who served before Francis, had also retired. So not many of these popes have actually retired. You know, many of them, they serve until they, they croak and they're out of there. So Francis could follow in the footsteps. That's the significant part here with the appearance of him going uh, to Alexstein uh, for this visit and for this big feast. Now, also... Pope has recently come out and appointed 21 new cardinals. Now that is major. Now 16 of them are under the age of 80 and they are eligible to vote now in a conclave. And of course, the conclave are the ones that select who the new Pope is going to be. And from the information that we have seen so far, these cardinals that the Pope is selecting are very like-minded as Francis is. That meaning they are very liberal, even some would say very communistic in the approaches and the ways of Pope France. So could there be a chance that the next pope that could be elected could very well be like a Pope Francis or even, God forbid, worse? Well, no one can say for sure, but the chances are definitely there. He is setting the stage up now for his replacement. That's no doubt. The path that he has paved for the past nine years has shown, in fact, that he is getting ready. Now, he is serving his purpose, I think, as far as end-time Bible prophecy goes, whether he's the false prophet or not. If he is not, well, he is still laying a groundwork that is going to lead to the eventual Antichrist rising up uh, and then false prophet that will be right alongside with him here. With him here. So, do I personally believe that this is the end? I do. And also with these other cardinals that he's going to be meeting with, he's going to be going over well his etiquette as pope, his pastoral mission, what he has done so far, and what he would like to see done in. The future. So no doubt these cardinals will want to, you know, get in the good graces of the Pope, you know, in every way that they can uh, to be selected as that next one. Now, oddly too, or maybe prophetic, that all of this will be coinciding right at the end of summer going into the fall time. A lot of talk about recession and economic issues that are going to be plaguing not just America, but the world in the fall of 2022, could it be that a new pope is named around the same time? And well, if it's not Pope Francis as the false prophet, could it be this next pope? Well, keep your eyes on one individual by the name of Peter Erdo, E-R-D-O. Somebody who has been rumored 
to potentially become the next pope if he was in fact selected. I've talked about him before, but in light now of Pope Francis's health getting even worse, let's not forget he also had, you know, had a hernia surgery last summer. And so this guy is all, he's, he's patched together now with bubble gum and, you know, and glue for this point. Things are going to get very interesting prophetically as we go on in the days ahead here, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, with this guy not being able to perform his duties any longer, well, this spells major problems. And a new pope on the way. And if you thought Francis is bad, well, I almost am afraid to ask, could it get any worse? Look. If you have Jesus living on the inside of you, you got nothing to worry about. This is going to work itself out. But you got to have the faith. Now, I'm going to put more information on this for you guys down below in the description. If you enjoy my daily content here, talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines, and you want to help support my ministry with a generous donation, you can click the link to my PayPal down below or sign up on my Patreon for just five bucks a month. When you do that, you'll be alerted for all the content I put out. Don't rely on YT to give you the notifications for any of my stuff, guys. They barely push them out anymore. I am censored on like all levels here. So not only will you get all the alerts, but you can leave your comments there completely censorship free and send direct messages. Don't forget again, all those links are down below. A big, big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. Now, we're not done just yet. I don't leave any video without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, if you're watching this video right now and you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. This is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top acknowledge that you're a sinner. That is something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this. As I mentioned down below, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.